Today's civilian deaths have t reached over 470. At least 21 people, including two children, were killed in a Russian airstrike in the city of Sumy. And we know now at least two million refugees have fled Ukraine, this according to the UN. And U.S. intelligence is estimating between 2,000 and 4,000 Russian troops have been killed inside of Ukraine since Moscow launched its invasion 13 days ago. Russia, however, continues to break its proposed ceasefire. Ukrainian authorities are saying civilians that were heading out of the southern coastal city of Mariupol were taking fire yet again earlier today. And that's Russian President Zelensky there, almost seeming to taunt the Russians in the video he made last night. He gave away his location. He filmed himself in the presidential offices there in the capital. Russian forces continue to enclose and insult, assault that city. And the fighting in and around the capital is intensifying. Residents are struggling to find safe passage out. Many of them are elderly, some are disabled. In fact, this right here, folks, take a look. Video from our foreign correspondent, Chuck Holton, recently helping evacuate a 96-year-old resident in Kyiv. We want to go back out live to Chuck with more on this rescue. We know you're a former ranger, um, and it's becoming that you're part of this story, Chuck, because you cannot stand by not helping these people who are desperate. That's right, John and Bianca. Unfortunately, too many of the people who are left here in Kyiv are the aged and the, the sick and the disabled because anybody who had the wherewithal to leave has already done so. So we're getting phone calls and frantic messages from people uh, throughout the world who have friends and relatives that are stuck here in Kyiv asking us to go check on them. In this case, there was a 96-year-old grandmother who uh, just was stuck and abandoned by her caretaker here in Kyiv. Take a look at this story. While reporting on the devastation in Irpin, we were approached by a random woman with a request that has become all too common since Russia's invasion. An elderly woman who had been abandoned by her caretaker at her apartment in Kiev. Could we help? We agreed to try. But by the time we got to her address, we had another problem. The nightly 8 p.m. curfew. Okay, okay we are, it's uh, about 15 minutes after 7 and curfew is at eight. You have to be inside to get shot. But we're trying to go rescue a 96-year-old lady that doesn't have anybody to take care of her. Which way? A social worker agreed to meet us at her apartment and let us in. Is that it? But convincing this grandmother, who suffers from dementia, to pick up and leave was nearly impossible. And the clock was ticking. It's 7.22. It took 20 minutes to get her to the car, and I was starting to think this might end badly. Oh, my gosh. She's got to go down like 15 stairs. That's going to take till tomorrow. No, no, no. <laughs> Almost there. Almost there. Oh, good. Good. Driving like our lives depended on Careful. it, we sped through the empty streets to a care center that had been set up for the elderly. Again, the transfer was painfully slow. Our charge delivered. We had five minutes to make it back to the hotel before the doors were locked for the night. Taking a left. Four minutes. That's right. Mission accomplished. From Ukraine, I'm Chuck Holton for Newsmax. So uh, that was probably the wildest car ride that poor woman has ever been on. But uh, when we delivered her to the new location, she just kept saying, spasiba, spasiba, spasiba. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And that made it all worthwhile. Uh, unfortunately, the breakdown of essential services has, is such here already that there are so many people in situations like that, and there just isn't anybody to help. So sometimes you just have to do what you can. Chuck Holton to the rescue, and I don't mean that lightly. You did that with grace and dignity, and I'm sure she was very glad a guardian angel came to her rescue last night. Thank you, Chuck. We appreciate that report.